Hello my friends, I hope you're well. I thought I would share a very short but hopefully sweet practice that I've really been leaning on of late. Uh, this one is for you if you have tension in the mind, maybe in the head. I know I've spoken to a lot of people who've been having headaches at this point in time, I am with you and um, obviously I'm not a doctor, so do check out anything that is of concern to you. However, if it's tension headaches caused by stress and maybe overthinking and just having a lot of energy in the head, perhaps from consuming a lot of information or just simply being anxious and stressed out, I really hope this serves you. So for this one, I'm using a mat, but that's just for my knees, because um, I'm an auntie, but you could maybe just have something soft underneath you, because we're gonna take a child's pose and support the head. So if you like to use a blanket to support yourself, you could do that and just sort of give yourself some lux. If you struggle, to sit on your heels, you could use something underneath you like so. And if just being on the floor is completely inaccessible, you could do this also sitting at a desk. It's gonna have a slightly different energetic effect, but you'll still be hitting some of the sweet spots, hopefully. Also have to hand, if you've got a yoga block, you could use that, or just substitute it with a book or two, maybe a big thick book that could work really well. Okay, so you're gonna use your block or your book in front of you. And just like when you're using any kind of prop, you wanna be able to adjust it to suit your body. So we're all different, that's a wonderful thing. Embrace that. Come to, kneel, come to kneeling if you're not already and make sure that it's comfortable. You can choose the width of your knees. So if it's more comfortable to take the knees wider, do that. If you prefer to have the knees close together, go for that. If you've just eaten, maybe separate the knees a bit. It's just more comfortable. Okay, so from here, we're gonna come into child's pose. So start to lower the chest down. And we, what we want is to create some ease, right? So if there's tension that's present immediately, maybe it's through the knees or maybe the position of child's pose, please take a pause and get yourself some props or adjust your position. And then you wanna be able to bring your forehead. So the area that we're looking to stimulate here is around this third eye forehead area. So many of you probably can even feel with your fingers whether there's tension present. Sometimes if you press just gently around the base of your eyebrow, sometimes it can feel quite tender there. And that's probably a good sign that maybe just to take a time out <laughs> and maybe just drop into this posture. So you wanna set yourself up so that the prop can support your forehead very comfortably. So there's no tension other than the pressure of resting the head on the block or the prop. So give yourself a moment here to land. And if the block or the book is feeling too harsh, that's also okay. You could take your blanket and just create some extra lux there. Get the gist? You could also just do it with the blanket, it's slightly different, or a towel if you don't have a blanket, you could just roll it up and use that as a substitute for this practice. But otherwise, keep the head rested. And then you wanna make sure that the elbows are resting on the ground or resting on something. So you can really let, let yourself kind of sink towards the ground energetically. Let yourself rest. And then from here, I'm using the block to kind of press in and slightly draw up. Yeah, as opposed to kind of drawing down, <laughs> we're trying to lift the tension. We're trying to send the energy in and up. So we're not forcing, over pushing, but rather just creating a lift. If you've ever done any kind of facial massage, probably well used to this one. It's a really nice energetic point to stimulate. So particularly this area here, what we're doing is activating the pineal gland, which is, if you imagine, 
drawing a line through the crown of the head and through your third eye, there's this little kind of beam that when you are in situations perhaps where you're activated in a way where fight, flight, freeze mode is on, perhaps the energy is moving upwards, it's quite scattered, it's quite overwhelmed. The pineal gland helps us, it's like a little button, it sort of helps the body to activate the rest and digest systems so that we can begin to slowly calm and hopefully create some ease and some space where there was once tension. So whilst you're here, could be a good moment just to really check in, really notice how you're breathing without forcing the breath, without needing to change it, but just really notice. And then those of you that are feeling pretty okay to do so, you could very lightly turn the head a little to the left and a little to the right. So you're just adding a little bit of movement massage and you can do this at your own pace, your own tempo. So this one for me is the bee's knees. <laughs> if I wake up on those days where I feel more tired waking up than <laughs> having gone to bed, perhaps having a bit of a tension headache, whether that's just, you know, from thinking, clenching teeth, if, you, if you're prone to clenching your teeth at night, doing a lot of kind of manual release, massage work around the head, cranium, so on, can be really helpful. So if that's working for you, just continue. Otherwise, you could just stay in the center, resting the head. And of course, by all means, you get to adjust the props. So if you're feeling, oh, I could come a bit lower, then maybe you want to adjust and do so. I still like to have a little bit of height underneath me. Of course, you could use the ground to do this. But I really like the feeling of like a prop underneath my head. It just kind of feels supportive. And during these times, I think it's helpful for all of us just to really remember and tap into our sense of support, you know, because we're not alone. So just let the belly soften. See if you can soften your tongue. So a link between those two areas. Everything, of course, is connected. You might feel more comfortable closing your eyes or softening your gaze. And of course, it goes without saying that, as I mentioned earlier, if you notice tension becomes present when you're doing something, it's probably a good idea to ease off. So if your headache feels exacerbated, if the tension in your head, the overthinking or overstimulation in the head feels too much in this shape, by all means, come out and do something different. You might benefit from perhaps laying on your back or something like that. We're just going to take a moment or two more, just resting here. And if you feel like staying, feel very welcome. If you're ready to come out, just use your hands and then press them into the ground. Just let the head come up last so there's no strain on the neck. And then really use your hands to push yourself up and then you could take your thumbs just to the base of your brow and just kind of press in and up and then just lift the head. Release the hands, take a moment or two just to arrive back in the room. So there's likely to be a shift of energy regardless, especially if you've had the head down, the head low. Um, generally getting the head lower than the heart can be helpful to ease stress, not in every situation of course. So. You know, you know your body, you are your own best teacher, so trust in that. But in general, just getting the head low, resting the head, creating some ease and some support for yourself to just calm things down, slow down and just land. 
find a safe place to land that can be really helpful in times like this so whatever time of day you may or need this please feel welcome to use it let me know how it was for you and um and let me know how you're doing i know it's a bit of a weird question these days but thinking of you thank you so much for practicing with me i really hope you've created some space for yourself take care